today's best music. Magic. Welcome back to the show at 742. Finally, it's happening. We've been waiting for this all week, Mo. Yeah, you know, I said it yesterday, and I'm going to say it again now. I've been promoting Game of Thrones for several years now as the best TV series around, but I have jumped ship. I mean, Thrones is still awesome, but I'm telling you, nothing is better than Homeland. Nothing. Every week, I end up each episode like freaking like it's Red Wedding, you know? Uh, And on that note, you know what? This is going to be a really big treat for us because even though Gib doesn't follow, which I'm going to make sure, Gib, that he lectures you about this. (laughs) No, you know, she says he sounds very, very nice. I don't know if he's, yeah, you know, he's, he's the a, lecturing type. He's wonderful, Mo. I'm sorry. I think he's on my side. Uh, uh, okay, and you better start watching Homeland. He, he's been in some excellent films, man. Iron Man, Iron Man 3, Kite Runner. He's been in Crash, which won an Oscar for Best Picture. And on Homeland, he plays Majid Javadi. Please welcome on the show, Sean Tube. Sean, good morning. Thanks for being here, man. We appreciate it. Hi, Sean. Hi, <laughs> First of all, thank you so much for having me and uh, and uh, my wife's friends uh, growing up, they're all uh, Filipino, so uh, oh, my, my really? wife actually speaks a little bit of it, so I learned a little bit. That so is it's, awesome. It's pretty man. interesting. Thank <laughs> thank you so so I want to, 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 to send my prayers and thoughts uh, over to you guys. Uh, after the typhoon, uh, Haiyan, and, uh, and I'm, I'm hoping that uh, things are going to get back to normal very soon. Thank you. Thank we you. appreciate that. That is very nice of you. Hey, listen, Sean, don't try to get on our good side, buddy, because you are a bad dude on the <laughs> show, man. Listen, I am not a bad dude. I'm just misunderstood. <laughs> <laughs> you know, uh, and, uh, and, uh, it's very simple. Just don't upset me and you'll be fine. Ooh, see that okay, even scares me. Okay, keep that in mind. That. <laughs> now, Sean, listen. You, the way the way you killed your wife on, uh, well, your ex-wife on the show was probably one of the more brutal scenes I've ever yeah. seen. Man, it was nuts. Oh. And I thought it was completely unnecessary that you killed the guy in that latest episode. I'm not going to give away too much because you know, for the people who haven't caught up, but how dare you if you haven't? I just, man, man, you're yeah. tough in this show, and and I love your character. I love everything about it, and you know, I just want us to say good job right off the bat here. I appreciate it. Thank you so much. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm I'm happy you're enjoying Homeland, and uh, and you're lucky that you said that Homeland is uh, Homeland is now your favorite because actually I love the Game of Thrones as well. I totally get that. <laughs> but uh, yeah, Homeland is is a monster. It's an amazing show, and. Uh, you know, Majid Javadi, uh, the character, has developed into something interesting for me because generally I don't like to play one-dimensional characters. I want them to be multi-dimensional. So I don't want to just play it as a bad guy. So you, you, as you see in some scenes, you see his humanity, and it's kind of strange that sometimes he's flirtatious with Carrie and he's caring. And sure. It's really interesting. Mm. And, uh, well, you know, before we talk a little bit more about the show, I, I, I just want to make sure that everybody remembers, like, all the... You know, kind of the contributions you've done in entertainment. Uh, you've been in some pretty big movies, man. Uh, like I said earlier, you know, the Iron Man. You were in Crash. You were excellent in Crash, and of course, that deservingly won Thank the Oscar you. for Best Picture. But you've also been in some major TV franchises like Lost, ER, Seinfeld, uh, Sopranos. You've had you've had uh, appearances there. Can you tell me how Homeland being on this show stacks up with uh, your other career achievements? You know, honestly, I've been uh, truly blessed, uh, you know, in this business to be able to, uh, you know, v- contribute to, to uh, movies as such and TV shows as such. Uh, you know, these jobs are, are sometimes they're like your children, you know. You can't really have favorites, but mm-hmm. there are some, <laughs> you know, that you're, uh, you know, you're, you enjoy more and you're closer to. I, uh, I mean, since... Homeland came along. Uh, it's it's been a, it's been an interesting experience for me because I didn't expect it to be this big. I didn't think a TV show can uh, you know get this much attention after being on you know as you said Crash that won the Oscar and Iron Man which is a big franchise and, and movies that's, you know like the, the Kite Runner as you mentioned that's very close to my heart. Um, it, it was inter- really an interesting journey for me to see uh, because we hadn't really watched the show before I got the offer and when I got the offer oh. my 
agencies actually said, you know, don't say no at first before you see the <laughs> show, and I don't want to talk to you about yes or no anything. I'm, I'm gonna, they send me the first season, and they said, just watch, and then we'll talk. And then one night at 10 o'clock at night, my wife and I were sitting, and we said, let's watch one episode because we were really tired. Four o'clock in the morning, six episodes later, <laughs> we are hooked, and my wife looks at me, and she goes, yeah, Lorena looks at me, she goes, one more, I'm not, are you kidding me? I have an 8 o'clock meeting <laughs> in the morning. So, <laughs> that's right. So it, oh, it's man, that's kind of a show. So it's been, it's been really interesting. Uh, it's been, uh, it's, and it's an amazing up, up, It's up there for me. Yeah, yeah. Amazing cast. Listen, Claire Danes, Damian Lewis, exceptional. They have won Best Actor and Best Actress uh, for their performances. Of course, Mandy, who plays Saul, what a stud. I, I mean, I, I mean, I love him for Inigo. <laughs> What a stud he is on Homeland. How do you prep yourself when you're, you know, because the, the scenes you're in aren't, they're not a light, they're not light-hearted scenes, man. They're really intense. How do you prep yourself with some of these powerhouse actors that, you, that you're with? And uh, you did it with, uh, in the, with uh, Downey Jr. also in Iron Man. How do you get into that frame of mind? You know, it's really, for me, it's, uh, I get excited about it. I actually, uh, I, I love it. I invite it. I, uh. I thankfully I don't get nervous about it. I just get very, um, you know, very excited to to get into it. You know, it's it's a it's a blessing to be to be able to spar with the best. I mean, that's really what you want. Sure. I mean, for me, it's very, you know, when they they told me uh, the writers came and said, you know, we're writing something fantastic for you on in episode seven with Saul, and uh, I was excited about it because I know he's great and. Uh, to be able to, I mean, they were they were a little nervous about it because they they said we hadn't done anything like that where there's really no action. You're just sitting in a room and talking. Right. And uh, it was and it became one of uh, you know the producer's favorite uh, episode. And uh, for me, it's uh, it's ex- exciting. And I tell you, you know, like what the work that Claire does on the show and Damien does on the show. Uh, it, you know, at first, if you don't watch the episodes. From the very beginning, you don't understand where, you know, the character Carrie is coming from yeah. and why she behaves right. the way she does. Right. And if somebody comes in in the middle, they think that Claire is really a bad actress, but she's exceptional. She's, she's brilliant, uh, you know, uh, portraying the, the character. And uh, i be honest with you, I was watching the episode 10 on Sunday, the last one that, we, that aired, and I was really, you know, shocked and and proud to be part of this cast because even the small roles, actors are great. I agree. Right, right, right. Yeah. Right. yeah. Right. You know, the it is. It is incredible. Being onto the show. Go ahead. Yeah, yeah, so I'm saying it's, it's incredible, but, but, you know, can I ask you one, just this one thing, you know, and you said you're a big fan of Game of Thrones, and, you know, when, when you watch the show, you wonder, off camera is, uh, for example, in, in Thrones, King Joffrey, is, is he that much of an irritating person? And, and the, the, the feedback that, like, our listeners were saying, they want to ask you, have you met Dana Brody? Because we, when we're watching the show, we're like, we just want to strangle this girl because she's such a pain in the ass. But please tell me you've met her in person and that she's not that bad. That is really Sorry. Funny. You know, I'm laughing also because I've got, I've got tweets that from people that say, hey, Jabari, we know where they is. She's at Angela's house. Please, she wants to kill her. her. Yeah, kill Dana. <laughs> yeah, they say, kill Dana. Hey, have you met her in person? Like, is, she, is, she, is she cool? I mean, because I, I just want to make sure in my know, heart I know people, I'm not getting mad at her. Uh, I, I, you know, I think it's, it's the role. I think it's part of the, uh, yeah. you know, part of uh, being a teenager at that age. Uh, they come across as annoying, and and uh, and I, I, you know, it it, it is. <laughs> I don't know what to say to you. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Sorry, buddy. All right, here we go. Let's talk about Javadi. All right. All right. Yeah, let's get out of this one. Uh, how much has your life changed since playing Javadi? I mean, it. Even maybe for the worst, like if people see you in public, do they go, "Oh my God, there's the guy that bombed the CIA"? Like, do they hate does does you? that ever come up? Like, do they do they accidentally forget that you you're not a real you know uh, terrorist and that you're just a normal dude uh, who just acts? Yeah, you know, people people's reactions are interesting, and I've always had that because you know I'm, I I enjoy uh, 
you know, doing different characters. I have, I've never been one to really just uh, like normalcy. So in, you know, for example, you know, in the past characters, you know, uh, as you, you mentioned some of them, um, uh, even going back to 1995, Bad Boys. I don't know if you remember Bad Boys. Mm, the that's first right. One. No, I definitely. I, remember I actually that. wrote. I actually wrote that scene, and I became the infamous mother bitch. You know the. the, <laughs> the, 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 the <laughs> I don't know if you remember. It's just these right. bitches. No, I, and then. Yeah, I remember. So, I, I couldn't go close to any high schools or anything because the kids would start yelling, Hey, mother bitch! <laughs> and uh, so, uh, so it's, it's always interesting to, to basically see people's reaction. And if you get that, that means you've done a good job yeah, because definitely. people remember. Because wow. I never look like myself either. I always look different. Mm. You know, I'm always, sure, I mean, sure. as Javadi, I've, I've, you know, took a lot of weight off because I wanted to look older to be closer to Saul's age. And mm-hmm. uh, if you see some of my pictures online, I'm not, I mean, I don't necessarily look as, uh, you know, like that, and they age me a bit. Mm-hmm. But, uh, sure, so sure. for me to, to get the reaction from people, actually, I went out, uh, when Javari had just come out, I went out to shopping one day, and I went out and asked this guy a question, and he, he was answering me, but his head was down, and all of a sudden he looked up and he went, Oh my God! It's you. <laughs> so I said, "Yeah, it's me." So, um, so it's nice. It's it's interesting. People's reaction. Yeah, you know, it's uh, people get excited. What is the worst? Uh, we're talking about I don't Sean think they think here, that I'm so. going to hurt them. <laughs> right, right. Yeah, I, I have a we're talking about Sean here, of course, of Homeland. Yeah, yeah, go ahead, Sam. What is the what is the best and worst thing about playing your character? Uh, the, the best thing is to be able to to be on a on a show as such with such amazing writers. Watching Homeland work the way it does, it's really interesting. You know, five different uh, you know uh, writers and different producers, different directors every week, and it goes on and it's seamless and it's. Uh, and it's amazing to watch it watch it come together. Mm. Uh, it's you know, and watch you know, being able to portray a character as, as complex as your body is, and you will see that in the next two episodes, you will you will see more uh, of his complexity and uh, and the way the show is done is wonderful. Uh, I can't really see anything bad about it, to be honest with you. I mm. mean. Uh, I am not one. I don't say my characters at all. I am not. I'm not a method okay. actor where I feel the need that I need to be the guy in order to to be able to portray him. So mm. I snap out of my characters pretty fast, pretty, pretty quickly because you don't you don't want to carry carry this guy around. Right. It's, it's not healthy. Yeah. Oh yeah. And uh, believe me. Yeah. So I I'm you. I'm blessed that way. I can I can. Uh, at the minute they call cut, I'm back to Sean. I'm not Yavari. Okay. So I don't, I don't stay I've... in it. So. Uh... Yeah, I'd like to ask Hello? this, uh, Sean. Uh, you know, us, uh, uh, yeah, us Filipinos, uh, Sean. Um, I'd like to say we're rather sensitive at how we are depicted in films and uh, other fictional series. I mean, mm. like we've had altercations or maybe even actually even Claire had some sort of issue when she was here because right. we are so darn sensitive about how we're depicted um, as an Iranian as, as you are and I know I've read here that you're active in the Persian community and, and you play an Iranian character as in Javadi does at the time does the script it, when the script puts Iran in a not so positive light does that ever affect you or maybe your relatives or any members of the Persian community you know, I've always tried to stay out of politics. Mm. Uh, oh. I've, uh, you know, I consider myself to be an American, but I'm an Iranian American. So uh, sure. that that you know that is always something that I'm proud of. I don't tell people I'm Italian. I, I you know, and uh, <laughs> and uh, I'm proud to be Iranian uh, and. Uh, uh, and, but you know, America is my home. Uh, but at the same time, I've always tried to stay out of politics as such, unless I really felt strongly that that the character, you know, really justifies the risk. And also, sure. um, 
you know, I, I would be offered terrorist roles as such, and I would always turn them down because I didn't really see the payoff. Because I needed to know the, the, what, you know, there is a reason for the character to give as such. I needed to show more as to why he became the way he is. Because every right. character must have a journey. And, um, and that's why I've always stayed away from getting involved in the politics of, the, of it all because it's, I'm, I'm an actor. I'm not a politician. Right, right. And, gotcha. uh, yeah, and, gotcha. uh, as far as Javari, Javari was a role that I couldn't turn down. Yes, there is, I, you know, I think they're depicting what is going on in the world right now, which is another amazing thing about Homeland, that, you know, they wrote this a while back, and look, all of a sudden, Iran is in the news. And look what's happening okay. with, with the talks between the U.S. and the world and Iran, which is really interesting. It's like life imitating art. Mm -hmm. And right, so right, right, as yeah. far as the depicting the character, I hope that, you know, the government of Iran understands that this is a, this is a, a movie after all, and we embellish, and we, we, but, you know, it's a character that is, that is, exists, and, um, and, um, I, I took it because I didn't, I, I felt that the character justified the risk, you know, justified, okay. yeah. you know, yeah. no, totally. and he's telling, he's telling yeah. a story. Yes, are they, most of my friends in Los Angeles, especially, are Iranians, are, they're mostly doctors and, and attorneys and very, very successful people. I think that the world has to come to, uh, you know, to come to an understanding that in any culture, there is many different, you know, different people. Mm -hmm. There's good, there's totally. bad, yeah. there's <laughs> success, there's poor, poverty, there's everything. So, yeah, li listen, one, one more for me here, uh, Sean. Uh, sorry, um, I, I just wanted to get back to the show because uh, every episode, at least these past few weeks, has left me at the end, like, kind of screaming and running around in circles. I look like a madman here. Uh, I, I follow you on Twitter, and you always tell people how crazy the finale is going to be. Last season's yeah. finale was absolute nuts. Are you going to torture mm -hmm. us this, with this finale here? Is it just going to be one of these things that's going to keep me up a couple of days and it's going to affect me? Because the way you build it up on your Twitter account, by, by the way, if you want to follow him, it's uh, at uh, Sean Tube. The way you build it up, boy, like, this finale is just going to yeah, be crazy. Yeah, thank you. Yeah, if people want to follow it, as yeah, you said, my handle is at Sean Tube. And it's S-H-A-U-N-T-O-U-B. Uh, yes, the build up, I think you will, you will not be disappointed. We just got back, actually, after being three weeks in, uh, being in Morocco for three weeks. And, uh, and, uh, I tell you, I am in the show and I can't wait to see it. Oh, and I wow. get goosebumps. I'm not kidding you. I, right now, I have goosebumps. <laughs> yeah, you're not thinking about it. It is. Can you please? It is. Can you please? Uh, I mean, can you give us a little bit? I mean, I mean, I know it's probably contractually you can, but I can't no, wait two more weeks, bad. man. It's, I, it's won't, I wouldn't want to thing. ruin it for you. Oh. It, would, it would be unfair to you for me to do that, He's honestly. Yeah. <laughs> it would be unfair for you to to. I, I you. I tell everybody, don't even ask anyone, or don't don't try to find out what happened. Just. Sit there and watch and enjoy, because the next oh. two weeks is going to be incredible. All right. Oh my God, I can't wait. In, I really can. Opinion. you give me one last no, my one last favor, yeah. Sean? Hopefully, you one will last agree. Favor. Can you? Yeah, can you please yell at Gib here? She was the girl you spoke to initially. She's on the show. She doesn't watch Homeland, and every day I, I just want to kind of pull one fingernail out of her hand just because she doesn't watch the show. Can you please Sean, tell her what she's missing? Sean, Sean, and, and really, in, a, in, yeah, in your yeah. Javadi character. What's wrong with you, girl? <laughs> in my defense, Sean, I don't watch what anything. What is the matter with you? <laughs> You know what? I, I don't watch anything at all. My TV is... I don't even know if it's... No, 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 no. This is not anything. This is Homeland. You know, just because you're such yes. a sweetheart. This is body on Homeland telling you. Oh, That's my right. God. That's enough. Hello. This is like... And you and if you watch, watch Homeland, Homeland, you don't need to do it. Oh, wow. I, this is and surreal. And you need to go and start from the beginning. And I promise you, if by the fifth episode, 
you don't tweet and say I'm hooked, <laughs> I'll take my word. I eat my words. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I, I, I properly right. chastised. I, I will go. <laughs> Javadi told Gib personally <laughs> to get on it. Watch yes. the show. This is surreal. In a threatening manner. And if I hear yes, that you man. haven't watched it in the next month, <laughs> I will pay you a visit. <laughs> Yes. Yes. yes wow. Oh, I love it. I, 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 that's that's a, so that's now a good deal, man. So she's not gonna watch man. it, <laughs> right? Because she wants to. We want you to come but to no, Manila. But, but when when he visits, he visits as Javadi with the broken bottle you know, and everything. I mean, it's I not gonna it. be very pretty exactly. for you. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna leave the show early right now because I have a lot of catching up to do. So thank you so much. That's yes. right. Okay. Oh my as God. It's Twelve episodes this season. It's not that bad. And honestly, I told you what the one night. I, I promise you, you go through it so fast, you'll be shocked because your body yeah. and your mind wants more. I believe that. Mm -hmm. I believe that, definitely. This finale airs on the 15th of December, so there's two more episodes till then. Uh, Sean Tube, again, follow him on Twitter because he's very generous to tweets. I see you, uh, yeah, you know, you're responding such a to sweetheart. a lot of people. You're so kind. You are so kind. Oh, my online. pleasure. My pleasure. No, I mean, yeah, it would be, it's a, it would be a shame it's, uh, if you're a fan. And to not, be interested and in what you do. So it's definitely, an, it's definitely a pleasure and, and a blessing. Thank you so All much. All right, you spell it S H A U N T O U B on Twitter. Sean Tube, he plays Majid Javadi on the program. Sean, again, a million thank yous for being here. You are an incredible person and you are a fantastic actor, and we love your show. And I hope you stick around and they don't like kill you or anything in the finale. As they did last. Se oh, oh, I can't say that. Skip. Sorry. Uh, yeah, a lot of people you died uh, in the show. I'm just gonna tell you that right. <laughs> you, you will, uh, you will know as you watch it, and uh, it's Sunday and the following Sunday, and uh, and uh, enjoy the ride. And uh, I, I hope that it lives up to my the hype that I have created. It, it, I'm sure, I'm sure it, will. it will. Salamat kaibigan. Thank you so much, uh, uh, Sean, for being here. Bye. Bye, Sean. Bye. Yes, sir. Like yes, it. sir. I, I'm on it. I got it. Can you please yeah. say my I'm name? I'm so you. jealous. Can you please say Sam? Sam. <laughs> Sam. Everybody <laughs> loves you. Come on. Because yeah. you watch all the <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, That's Sean. Right. All right, Sean. Thank you. Right. We appreciate it. Ciao, ciao. Happy Bye. holidays. Bye. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Right. Best of luck. Bye-bye. Oh my God! I right, love him. I love He's him awesome. so much. <laughs> I can't. No, but see, I can't. There's a problem. There's a problem now with me and this interview. What's that? Is He's such a good guy. Yeah. He's such a funny guy that when he's out being ruthless and Javadi in, in Homeland, I'm going to be like, <laughs> 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 you know, just gotta, and then I'm just going to look at the people. If, and just in case I'm watching it with anyone, I'm like, you don't know in real life. So from Vietnam. Yeah, seriously. <laughs> it's laugh. so surprising. He is such a nice guy. Yes. Love him. And I will love what him. Show. And I will. Watch it, Gib. Yeah. Come on, get I do know. it. Got another three of you and then like a mass murderer. I think <laughs> he's out. What By is the way, he? Gib. Yes. You're pregnant, Gib. What are you doing, like, not doing, like, not sitting down watching TV? I, I don't know. I've never, I, I can't sit through anything, Mo. I can't finish a movie. Yeah, um, it's really more like an impatient thing. Yeah. Yeah. I can't, I only watch the news, and that's about it. No, oh, but it's show business, by Anna. I think about yung mga heavy guns. Oh, yeah, really? Show business? Uh, who's uh, Judy Santos' uh, husband again? <laughs> That's just my memory. <laughs> Just about my memory. Ryan Agustin, what's his name again? Okay, you know what? You, I have you not phony. Been, been talking for the last hour. For the last hour, it's just going to be on my show. Can it be? Okay, <laughs> fair enough. It's all Gib. It's, it's all, all Gib at 8 a.m. All right, okay. let's take a break. When we come back, more of the program. Don't go away. It's the morning show. Today's best music. Classic 89.9.